ancient martial ancient martial art. He also happens to be a holy man. Tonight on Rough Cuts, Lisa Buck introduces us to an Alberta priest with a unique passion. Every Wednesday and Saturday, Douglas Scoyles and a collection of men, women, and children gather to practice a discipline whose roots go back 12,000 years. Aikido is the way of spiritual harmony. It was founded by Hoshido Morie, uh, called Osensei, the great teacher. It's a bit of hodgepodge. It is because Osensei put together different medieval traditions of sword work, of staff work, of empty hand work. He even taught bayonet at one point. Although Aikido developed from warfare, it is a discipline based not on conflict, but on conflict resolution. The way that was based not on killing people, because any twit can kill people, but on love. It's about turning aggression into love so that if someone attacks, one redirects that so that no one else is injured. No permanent damage. If I'm attacked, I say I'm sorry, because I'm in the wrong place at the wrong time. And despite his 50 plus years, this Sansei packs an apology you're not likely to ignore. The right victory is victory over oneself. I'm not out there to fight anybody. I'm just trying to cut away my own defects of character. That brings us here to St. John's Anglican Church, where Douglas Sanse is Father Scoyles. Part of my prayer life is the Aikido. A huge part of my prayer life, of course, is Mass here at St. John's, and both of them are actually tied together in another way, by being traditional. Behold the Lamb of God. It all has to do with God's love anyway. That's the secret of what martial ways are about. Greek word for discernment and judgment, and the Japanese word for discernment or judgment, both go back to a root that means to cut through with a sword. The underpinning is love. Love is what being a Catholic Christian of the Anglican Communion is about. Love is what being a, a classical Budoka in this tradition of the Aikido is about. It's a simple but powerful message, and one that Douglas Scoyles will continue to embody in one fashion. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Or another. <laughs>